Hi, Ray here. So Hideo Kojima's just unveiled his new game at E3 called Death Stranding. We also got a trailer for the game starring Norman Reedus. The internet's already full of theories about the game, so let's jump into this trailer and see what details we can discern from it for ourselves. Nerd reactor. Roll out. Hideo Kojima has a reputation for misdirection and subtle hints about his projects as he's working on them, and it looks like Death Stranding is no exception. Ahead of revealing the game at E3, we've also seen images of the studio's mascot, Ludens. More recent images of Ludens have shown a human face beneath the mask, helmet or whatever that thing on his head is. A few keen-eyed fans have noticed that the eyes of the character were a lot like the rendered face of Norman Reedus from the unfortunately cancelled PT project from Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. Prior to E3, the latest image of Ludens also had the words, I'll keep coming on it. Now, at first glance, yep, it's a cool image and it has a cryptic message, but as we now know, the image gave us a strong hint at what we would actually see at E3. We have the Kojima Productions imagery, along with the eyes of Norman Reedus, telling us that he's in the game and actually giving us the title of the song from the trailer, I'll Keep Coming, by the band Long Raw. All of this, and we're not even at E3 yet. Okay, so fast forward to E3, and we actually got our first look at Death Stranding ahead of Kojima's Sony conference appearance. In an interview on the YouTube stage, Kojima was actually wearing a t-shirt with the letters DS on it, and with the strand-like effect on the font that was used on the font in the trailer that we eventually saw. After Sony's press conference, Kojima was interviewed on the YouTube stage again, this time openly about Death Stranding. During the interview, several key pieces of information were confirmed by Kojima himself. Firstly, we know that Guillermo del Toro is not involved. Norman Reedus is the star of the game, but Kojima would not confirm his character's name. The engine that's going to be used for the game is not confirmed yet. The game is in no way connected to the cancelled PT project. And when asked about the genre for the game, Kojima said it would definitely have action elements and that action game players would be able to enjoy it very naturally, but after a few hours, they will feel like something's different about the game. Kojima also said that he wants fans to come up with their own ideas after seeing the trailer and what it all means. And wow, have we done just that? Now, Kojima does enjoy messing with audience expectation and looking back at the first trailer for his last project, Metal Gear Solid 5, you can see why. There's two guys in hospital, guns, soldiers, a weird kid floating around in a gas mask and a freaking whale jumps up and swallows a helicopter. And the whale was on fire because reasons? It was mental. But the trailer was full of symbolism and gave crucial hints to what the game known as the Phantom Pain would be about. A game that later turned out to be Metal Gear Solid 5. So with the internet trying to unravel the mysteries of this trailer, let's see what's been uncovered so far. Okay, let's get into the name first of all. Death Stranding doesn't make much sense. Or does it? In a post-conference interview, Kojima described the name of the game's meaning as being the stranding of something that is not alive. He also described it as something from some world that has become stranded. This could be a possible hint that the game doesn't even take place on Earth, or at least not in the real world. The name also appears to be a reference to Cetacean Stranding, especially given the imagery in the trailer. Cetacean Stranding is the real world name for the phenomena where cetaceans, or aquatic mammals, beach themselves. Most beachings result in the death of the unfortunate animal that has been washed ashore, and while that would explain things like the whales and fish in the trailer, it certainly doesn't explain the crabs. Clearly, everything outside of the immediate area around Norman Reedus' character is dead, and he's either somehow survived whatever's happened, or he's also dead. Everything we see in the trailer also seems to be connected by strands or cables of some sort that lead back into the water on the beach. As well as the copious amounts of dead sea life, the beach itself is full of this black, oily substance and we see many handprints in the sand that not only work their way towards Norman Reedus in the trailer, but as he gets up, you can see them still tracking in the sand around him. But then why are there no footprints? The various crabs at the start of the trailer also tie into the death theme. They have these black strands running into them as well, and amongst the bones and bodies, one of the larger crabs even resembles a skull in terms of its colour and the pattern on its underside. Looking at Norman Reedus' character, he also has handprints all over his body of varying sizes, but there's no real clue as to what they could mean, although they clearly are important in some regard. 
Norman Reedus' characters also wearing some pretty sci-fi looking handcuffs in the trailer, but who or what was he attached to? His side of the handcuffs actually looked different to the empty portion with extra components on them. This could actually imply that he was the one keeping somebody under lock and key, and that he himself was not the one being restrained. In the panning shot of him on the ground, we actually see that he has one of these black strands coming out of himself as well, and it leads towards a baby lying in the sand beside him. The baby in the trailer who disappears could well be a symbol of lost innocence or a rebirth of sorts. The child can even thematically be linked into the quote at the start of the trailer by William Blake, use of words such as world, heaven, infinity and eternity taken from auguries of innocence are certainly a strong hint that the game is taking place out of this reality in some regard. As the baby's cradled, there's a huge sense of relief in the face of our character here as he looks like he's even almost brought to tears. This quickly turns to horror, panic and confusion for a moment after he realises the baby's gone and his hands are full of this black substance. The handprints of the baby then make their way seemingly back to the water as Norman Reedus' character stands to reveal a clear shot of what looked like dog tags around his neck. Six of them. That might be important later in the trailer. Maybe. If we take a look at the dog tags by zooming in on the promotional art for Death Stranding, you can see two equations quite clearly. The first one seen here is the equation for Schwarzschild radius, defined as a radius of a sphere such that if all the mass of an object were to be compressed within that sphere, the escape velocity from the surface of the sphere would equal the speed of light. And the tag behind this one has the formula for the Dirac equation, commonly used in quantum physics. This equation also implied the existence of antimatter. It describes all mass of particles for which parity is a symmetry. The appearance of these two formula has many people convinced that the game takes place outside of reality as we know it, as the equations are linked to the study of black holes. In fact, a black hole is defined as any object whose radius is smaller than its Schwarzschild radius. Moving on from this in the trailer, we pan down to reveal the scarred torso of our character, very much quartered, was something taken out or put inside of him. Also, where did his strand go? After surveying his surroundings, we hear an unnatural, distorted scream. The camera then switches position to show us the beach once more. From this new position, we can see our character's strand is definitely no longer connected, but we can see that all of the other ones are still there and leading back into the water. Either side of the shot, we have small splashes of colour in the form of fires burning either side of the beach scene. The colour red also shows up on Norman Reedus' half of his handcuffs, as well as on some of the crab's bodies found earlier in the trailer so it feels like this is giving us some kind of important visual clue. The most striking part of this final scene by far is the five figures in the air above the water. They're all humanoid silhouettes and although they all appear to be still with arms at their sides, the middle one has a different pose, although it's hard to make out exactly what that is from such a distance. And remember those dog tags from earlier? Well including Norman Reedus' character, there's now six humans that we can see on screen right now. And considering that he had six dog tags around his neck earlier, that's a little bit too much of a coincidence for a Kojima trailer. Are they linked? Could this be his former teammates or allies, perhaps turned antagonist? Or are they the ghosts of his former friends? We'll have to wait and see for more information, but it's definitely worth pointing out. The trailer ends with credits, including performance and facial capture by SIE Visual Arts Service Group, the same group that Kojima used while creating Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Kojima Productions have also put a making of the trailer on their website since E3. It shows Norman Reedus going through the same process for facial capture that we saw Stephanie Houston undergo to become quiet in Metal Gear Solid 5. Okay, so my brain's just about to melt, but that's a look at the trailer and what it could mean so far for Death Stranding in future. But what are your own thoughts and theories on the trailer? Have you thought of anything that we've maybe missed out? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think. Again, I'm Ray Gillen from Nerd Reactor. Thank you very much for watching.